I always say that you should own your mistakes, learn from it, and the worse the race you have, the more you can learn from it, so the more you can benefit from it, so it's nothing to be said about you actually should be joyful about having those bad races. And sometimes it's easier said than done. That's why I feel that it's tremendously important for me to own my own mistakes as well. And that is what I'm going to be doing in this video. Um, one and a half, almost two weeks ago, I had a race, a relay race, where I mispunched the control and got disqualified. And I'm going to go to, to get into the details of how that happened, why do I think it happened, and what should I be doing in the future to avoid that, which hopefully will be also a lesson for you. And in the second part of this video, I will be sitting down with Hannah and analyzing one of the races that she had in the previous week. We picked, I think, an interesting one with quite some mistakes. And hopefully for those of you that enjoy watching the, the, the race analysis with her, this will be also a very, very interesting part. So... Before we begin, I also want to mention this is Into the Forest Go, a channel about orienteering, a sport where you run with the map and compass. And if you want to explore more about it, there are already plenty of videos on the channel, so just go and browse through those videos. I also want to take a moment to appreciate the people that are supporting us. First of all, those that are coming and chatting with me during the chats, the interviews, this is really tremendously helpful and it's also super joyful and fun and interesting so i absolutely adore that but i also appreciate that you people are spending time to share with me and everyone really through me and the whole community so many many thanks to you i also want to thank the people that are supporting the channel through patreon there are not too many of of you out there but that makes you even more precious to us, to me. So um, thank you, thank you very much. If you want to support the efforts of the channel uh, through some paid services, then the link to the Patreon will be available in the description of this video. And with this, let's get into the relay. By the way, I'm not going to be talking about you know how I felt really and how how to deal with the feeling of having such a bad race at the relay. Uh, I'm actually getting into more details of this in the conversation with Gustav Bergman that is going to be on the channel next weekend. So keep an eye for that chat. It's it's going to be really interesting, all fo interesting, all focused around the relay races. So this was also a relay race. We had a pretty decent uh, team where none of us, really the teammates, were uh, in the elite class because me and my brother... We are already masters, so we are older, and we also were, re were running with uh, Jan Stranek, who is one year younger, and he will be coming to the elite next year. So we actually had no one in the elite, elite class. We were still competing in the elite class, and believe it or not, we actually had a shot for uh, at least a medal position, if not for the win, because the terrain was very tricky and everybody was making quite a lot of mistakes. And definitely would be helpful if I didn't disqualify my team. My team, fortunately, um, my brother who was running the last leg, he had a very bad race um, in the end as well. So that helped me a little bit because I didn't feel that bad about disqualifying our team. We would have placed, I think, seventh or eighth. Uh, so far away from the podium. Anyway, still, uh, a disqualification during race is not something to ignore and it's something very very serious because as a coach I always tell people you should always check the control description especially during the relay races because then you if you screw up you are disqualifying the whole team not just yourself right so that happened that happened now how did that happen it's a quite actually quite an interesting story so the map that you see over here is not actually my map because the organizers didn't upload the full um, relay map to, um, to to live logs. So I'll be using one of the courses uh, just to show you the map. And, and I will tell you where was my control from where I was starting the leg and wh where I was ending the leg uh, in a moment. Before I do that, I, I, I also want to give you a little bit of a background. So... I was running the second leg and we were starting 20 minutes after the minute zero. So therefore, there were already people in the forest 
20 minutes before the start of our first leg, which was Jan, and he ran a very good leg and he came in the first spot. Now, before he came, I already managed to talk to, talk to one of the guys from the Masters Relay from our club, and I asked him about the terrain, about you know his experiences, how he feels I should navigate, and so on. So he told me uh, several things. He told me that terrain is very technical and the, um, the, the, the people are making quite a lot of mistakes. So if you navigate carefully, it's actually going to be helpful. Um, but among other things, he also told me a very interesting element of an advice. So he said that at one point, and he said it like, okay, you have to be careful um, because at one point during one leg, there is, uh, you, you're searching for a pit or uh, sorry, an, an erosion gully. You're searching for an erosion gully. And before you get to yours, there is actually one uh, that is not marked on the map. And it's even bigger than the one you're actually looking for. You know, so that's the information I got. And I, was, I, and I thought to myself, okay, that could be important because, you know, if I'm looking for an erosion gully and I hit one, I'll be like, okay, where's my control? And, you know, I already know that there is one somewhere that is not on the map. Therefore, if I encounter a situation like this, I will be able to react faster to it rather than just going around and trying to figure out what's going on. So I thought that this is very helpful at that point in time. Now, let's now take a look at my path. Uh, the, so the leg where I actually got disqualified. So that control I was starting from was over here, right next to number five here. And it was in a small gully. I was running from this direction, just went into the forest uh, somewhere over here, crossed to the gully, picked the control uh, without any major problems. The, the other control that I was going to was actually fairly easy. It was at the end here of the erosion gully. Okay, that's important, at the end of the, of the erosion gully. So I was going from here to here. In general, not a, um, not, not a difficult leg and should be quite easy. Now, you also have to understand that the terrain over here was covered almost everywhere with those spiky trees, and they were scratching us quite significantly. So there was a lot of weaving between those trees and changing the direction. So it's, it was hard going in a straight line. Anyway, my track is over here. So you, you can see that I'm getting over here, punching the control in the gully, turning around, returning almost exactly the same way. And at that point in time, um, I'm actually, you know, I, I actually have a plan in my head. So I'm going to attack the, the erosion gully with going a little bit to the left because I don't want to miss it from this side. And I will just continue along, along it to the right. And that was basically the plan, nothing extraordinary. Now, um, as you can see, the direction over here is quite decent. That's more or less where I wanted to go. And at that point in time, I realized that I can see an erosion gully on my left. So I turn to it and I can see that there is a very big visible erosion gully and I am at the end of it and there is no control inside. So instead of realizing that this erosion gully is completely in the wrong direction, I didn't check my compass, unfortunately, at that point in time. So I didn't realize it, that it's not exactly in the direction that it should be. Um, the scenario that appeared in my head immediately was it? Aha! That's the point where, um, which I've been warned of. This is the erosion gully that is not on the map. So all I have to do is I have to keep pushing forward to the place where, uh, a little bit further, where my real erosion gully will be. And truth be told, at this point in time, I felt that this is a little bit too early. I felt that I should be running a little bit further ahead. So I raised my head, I looked around, I saw some people, like two or three of them, um, and they were they looked like they are next to the control or, or in the vicinity of the control. So I just started running towards those people. The direction was again more or less the same that I was running previously, so it was fine. And I got to this point in time. You can see that there is a pit over here, and there was a control in that pit. So exactly in this one, there was a control over here in this pit. Now, you know that it happens sometimes that those erosions gully are not like smooth that you have a, a deep pit going uh, for, for several meters, but sometimes they are a little bit ups and downs, and sometimes they are not that obvious, you know, that there is an erosion gully. So when I saw this control in the pit, and I looked to my left, 
So to this direction, I saw that there is an erosion gully coming over here and then it goes up and it goes down into the pit again. So I thought maybe this is just a strange end of the erosion gully. So without thinking twice, I just punched the control and I started running towards the second one. At least, you know, if I would be here, I guess I wouldn't be going in the right direction. But, but because I was completely in a different spot, unfortunately, my direction of leaving the control was again kind of bad because it wasn't my control. But that, that doesn't matter. What matters is my way of thinking at that point in time. So I think that two things happened over here that influence the whole process and the fact that I also didn't check the control description. I was actually quite careful over here to check the control description and compare the numbers, make sure that I didn't, don't disqualify the team. I remember that I was even stopping at some of the controls just to take some time and make sure, yes, this is my control. I didn't do it over here. Now, why? That's an interesting question. Why didn't I do it over here if it was so important? Well, two things, as I mentioned. So I think that one thing that, that happened is the anchoring effect. I was, um, the, the story that I got before the start was so clear in my head that when I encountered a scenario where it can be put into action, that story can be put into action matched with reality, um, I immediately thought that this will be exactly the place which I've been told of. The second thing is that our brain, when it's looking for answers, it is very lazy. And it takes the first plausible scenario that fits the reality, fits the criteria that, that, that you meet in, in reality. And that's also, I think, what happened over here. Instead of validating it and thinking okay, and realizing, okay, the, the first uh, erosion gully is actually completely in the wrong direction. Uh, so maybe I'll double check if there is something else on the map or validating over here that this doesn't really look like the end of the erosion gully exactly. So maybe there's something else and you're taking at least a few seconds to validate it. I was so sure that this is exactly the place that I've been told about before the start that I disregarded everything else. I will say even more, I was proud that I, that I, that I talked to the guy before the start. I gathered that information and, you know, I had now an advantage um, compared to other runners and I didn't spend any additional time just looking around here and trying to figure out what's going on because I had such a smart, well, not teammate, but club colleague that told me that this kind of thing can happen over here and I need to watch out for it. I was proud. And this is why instead of taking a few more moments to check things out, at least check the control description, I just punched the control description and started immediately going into the direction of that next control according to my, to my plan. So that's it. This is what got us disqualified, a completely silly thing. Um, one thing that I want to add is also at the, uh, when I came to the finish line and I got the information that I'm actually missing one control uh, and I punched a different one, I, I, I couldn't figure out which control I've missed much. I didn't realize that this was the place where something bad happened. Only after going through several different legs in my head and trying to figure out where this thing could happen, I actually thought that maybe here. I still wasn't sure until I saw the map and I saw the, the track later on. And uh, another thing is that I was completely sure that the that the, the erosion gully I saw was still somewhere over here and it wasn't on the map. And I was like, I met this big erosion gully. How could it not be on the map? It was exactly like I was told before the start. What, what a shitty map, right? Only when I saw the map later on and just spent some more time with it, I realized, oh crap, there is an erosion gully actually in the vicinity of the spot where I was. And it actually might be the case that this is exactly the one I saw. So I guess the, the lesson over here is that whatever information you get before the start of the race, you have to remember that the people that came back from the forest, they are in the emotions still. They didn't see the map uh, with you know having some time to actually go through it. They didn't analyze their race. And 
some of the things that they think might actually be not true at all. The, the erosion gully that the guy told me that exists over there and is not marked on the map, it could have been exactly the same situation. He could be making just a small mistake and then he didn't realize that he is at the erosion gully that is on the map because he was in a different spot. This could happen. So I think you have to take this kind of information with a pinch of salt and filter it always through the emotions and the speed that people were running through. So maybe take some of that information into account, but don't believe it entirely. So I think this is one thing uh, that is definitely a lesson from this. The second thing is that if things are going wrong, there is always it's always a good idea to double check what's happening, to slow down, to check the compass, to look around, to look a little, spend a few more seconds looking at the map and make sure that what you the scenario that you are creating, or in this case I am creating in my head, actually is plausible and fits the reality rather than overdrawing the reality with my ideas that completely have no coverage. Yeah, so I'm definitely not proud of this race. Um, and as I said, my brother saved me a little bit from a complete disaster. And um, yeah, that's basically it. So hopefully you can learn also from my mistakes because uh, this is what the post-race analysis is for. You can learn from it and to not repeat the mistakes in the future or at least to be to make it less probable of repeating those mistakes in the future because let's be real we will be making more mistakes and as long as again we learn from them there is nothing wrong with it and that's it uh, regarding this part i'm not going to be showing the rest of the race because i think this is the most important element uh, that i wanted to discuss today and now i will switch to the second part of this video where I'm going to sit down with Hannah and talk about her race and the mistakes that she was making over there, but also the good decisions. I will turn everyone else off as they space in here and we will leave on the Hannah. She was actually enjoying herself in women 14 category, even though normally she should compete in women 12. So her times were not great. At yeah. the competition itself but it was basically an opportunity to learn her navigation skills uh, get better at it and i guess enjoy the courses a little bit more because yeah. she definitely enjoys the courses which are more challenging rather than the easy ones along the road true yes good 12 is like along the road and it's like very easy so it's boring yeah it's just too boring <laughs> So that's how it is. I, I guess it's she takes that after her parents. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's get you tracked to the very beginning. Okay. Uh, let's hit follow visible participants, mm -hmm. and then we will go. Do you, do you want to push it forward and stop whenever you want to mm -hmm. comment on something? Yeah. So, yeah. Maybe. So let's let's do the the analysis the usual way, right? So first, before you uh, show us where you went. Tell us what was the plan, okay. and then we will follow your route and we will see what actually happened. Uh, okay, so my plan was to just go uh, here to this road, like here or there, mm -hmm. uh, then run along this road until um, this point where it was turning, and then I would know like, okay, I'm here, so I have to be more careful because right now I'll have to turn into like a semi-road, so maybe it will not be visible. Uh, yeah. So then I uh, wanted to run here into this road, there, then um, into this path, see this um, uh, big patch of green in, what is it called? Fence? Oh, yeah, in this fence, and just go around it to my control. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, but... Uh, alternatively, <laughs> alternatively, I could say that this was, could also be a viable plan. You go over here, mm -hmm. You hit this tiny lake over here, um, or pond actually, and then you cross here through this part of the forest. There is a slice of white over here, so yeah. possibly it's runnable through, but even it's, if it's not, it's not far. And so you cross here to this road, and then you continue along the path, as you mentioned. Yeah. 
Yes, oh. I think this one was better. I just, uh, I don't know, I just didn't think about it when I was running. Mm -hmm. But I think this one was better because it's just uh, easy too. It's, it's shorter as well. Yeah, and it's much shorter, so yeah. Okay, let's, that. let's see how it did. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm running along the plan right now. It's good to this. Yeah, you get to go crossing. Yeah, I know a that slow. I'm here. You're yes. the map, but now you go faster. Stopping over here, making yeah. sure that you mm -hmm. turn into the right path. path. You make sure that you are on the right path. You get here and you turn, right? Yeah. And now I'll tell you why. Because uh, I learned in a path yeah. and I didn't see this rock. Okay. I saw a rock, but yes. here. Okay. Maybe it was the same rock. No. I don't know. But but I saw a rock. And I was sh pretty much sure that it's not this rock. Because okay. it was here. Okay. But maybe the rock wasn't on a map. So uh, I oh, ran into a road. One. Like, not big. But in Poland, rocks are not big. I don't know. Maybe like this big okay so Something you can like expect that. these kind of rocks to not be yeah there. i know but like uh the day before i was running along um a path no maybe the, yeah the day before and uh i saw a control on a rock i it wasn't mine but i saw it and, it and th then the rock was like that so okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah I know. it's I just know. weird but i ran into this road and i thought i'm on this road huh I thought I'm this one because I didn't see this one. So okay. I was like, okay, I didn't see it. So I'm probably not here and I can be here. And then I saw the turns. I saw like turns. It wasn't like straight, mm -hmm. but there were turns. There were probably like small turns. I'm not good at actually like um, distinguishing the turns uh, if they are on a map or not. Um, so that was probably my mistake. So that both of them have slight turns. Either yeah, I tiny, didn't tiny see. Turns wiggling a little yes, bit. I didn't see it. So I yeah. thought I'm here, so I was like, okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, I'll just get to the road and then I'll go right. Mm -hmm. And I got to the road and I went right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you that, didn't that check the open area? Uh, no. You you should cross no. the road if you were on the I didn't road. even, no. like, register. This, this open area. Yeah. You didn't, you didn't watch no. it? No. No, I didn't. And the funny thing is that I turned here. And um, I'll tell you why. So I turned here because there was a road. I'm, okay, right? Road. There was a road. There was literally a road. Like a big one? No, but this one isn't big too. Okay. So like so it was like a path. similar. Yeah, like a path. It was pretty similar. So I was like, okay, it's good. The, even the direction was good, right? Yeah, like everything like was good. So I ran. You can see here. I ran. And here I turned around because I saw this. Okay. I saw this pond. Mm -hmm. I stopped. I was like, oh my. Okay. So yeah, I turned around. And here I turned a little bit too much. I wanted to go more like there, mm -hmm. but as you will see, I went um, more to the left than I wanted, than I was planning actually. Mm -hmm. Maybe I uh, thought that I'm a little bit better. I don't know. Uh, I just went there and uh, I didn't see the fence when I was running here mm -hmm. still. Okay. I saw it just like there maybe. And then the stupid mistake that I made, because this one is acceptable. Like, okay, it is a mistake, but like, I... It, it is not acceptable. Why not? <laughs> it is. No, I'll tell you later on. But... Just finish your okay. story. And here I ran, and I thought I'm good. I thought I'm running, and my control will be there. But, well, I got to here, and it wasn't there. And the thing that happened... It was like so. What was your thinking? You thought that the, the, I thought the green, that this green this, is the other green? this um, part of the fence is this one. I had my map wrong. Oh, so you didn't work with the compass. Yes, I had my map wrong. And the, I had the compass wrong, and I didn't realize. And I thought this part is this part. So I was like, okay, I'll just go straight, and okay. there will be my control. Okay. So as you see, I was going, and I turned a little bit left because here I would turn a little bit left to my control, and I'm like, no, it's not here. And uh, then I stopped. Yeah, I went. Yeah, and then I stopped and I thought about it. And then I saw that this was like this part of the fence, not this one. And I ran to my control the right way. All right, so many mistakes on this one. So, first of mm -hmm. all, the route choice was okay ish, right? This mm -hmm. one was a tiny touch better, I think. But yeah. this one was acceptable, as you said. 
Thank you. Now, um, thinking that instead of this one, you're on this one was actually maybe a little bit too far, but I guess I can still believe that mm -hmm. this could have happened, that maybe this mm -hmm. path uh, allowed you to cross to over here and you should go and you went over here. But if you're not sure what happened here, because you know, this path should be just taking you all the way down mm -hmm. here. If you're not sure, or, or actually you could also control this and yeah. and the band itself, so then you would be sure, okay, I'm here, I didn't run so far away from, from this crossing, right? So you, you could be yeah. could have been looking for this one as well. But anyway, if you thought that even you're here, this is an alarm bell. This is an, an, an yeah. alarm bell saying, okay, I'm not following my usual track. I, I'm not sure whether I'm here or not. I don't feel comfortable. So what do you do then? But I felt comfortable. I was like, oh, okay, I'm here. So let's so run. So you teleport it? No, I just, like, this road was, uh, th this, oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> this road was just a little bit fitter. And I just, you know, it, it happens that there is, like, a road that is uh, a little bit fairer than on the map. No, it doesn't happen. Yes, it does. But, well, normally it doesn't. Normally you trust the map. Well, yeah, that, but... That's, that's what you should learn to do, right? On, on previous days, there were no indicator, indications that the maps are wrong or something, right? So you shouldn't be thinking along these lines, correct? Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. So, so going over here, you should be cautious. All right, something bad happened, something didn't go along according to the plan. What do you do then? I look for a point to be sure that I'm here. Right. You take extra measures yeah. to validate that your new... New way of thinking, new ideas are correct, right? And, and the validation is okay. If I am on this path and not on this path, then when I get to this big road, I have to have an open area over mm -hmm. here, right? So this is what was missing. Also, um, this this path is going almost straight to the big road. This one has quite big bands, so you should be able to notice this as well, right? Mm -hmm. So two things that could have. Uh, let you know that you're actually over here and not over here as you were thinking and then you would be turning into the right direction instead of turning from here mm -hmm. to this direction which could took you here right yes now you said that there was a path over here yes that's fine i'm not going to comment on that i know that there were some additional paths on this map um made by the um, forest machinery so i believe you uh, but then this path took you somewhere over here and you were yeah. able to see yes. the pond, the pond. right? Mm -hmm. Then the reaction that happened over here next to the pond was actually wrong as well. Because what's the best route choice from here to here? Just straight. Just straight, right? Go along the pond, yeah. hit this path, see two greens, go between the greens, and there you are, right? Instead, what you did is you turned around yeah. somewhere that way. So that was a, a bad decision. You should have stuck to the pond because then at least you know exactly, more or less, where you are, right? Somewhere in this area. Yeah, I think I had the compass wrong mm -hmm. there too because I remember that I wanted to go straight. Uh, I just went in the wrong direction mm -hmm. and I think that I had my compass wrong there. I'm not sure because I realized that I have my compass, as I said, j just uh, when I didn't find the control in the right place. But uh, but yeah, I, I think I might have my... Mm, yeah, yeah. But then, my cup is wrong. What, what you're saying now is telling me that instead of navigating along the compass plus the features, you were navigating just along the compass. Yeah. Because normally I, you would say, okay, I need to go along the pond. Mm -hmm. When you look at the compass, you see that the compass is taking you in, in a different direction. You're like, oh, fine, I'll, I'll just follow the compass, ignore the pond, screw it. <laughs> yeah. Right? So that's bad as well. You should be like immediately going uh, uh, along the pond and then looking at the compass to validate that you're, mm -hmm. you know, you're going here instead of here or instead of here, yeah. right? So you, you make a compass to assure yourself that you're keeping the right direction, but um, you also have to navigate along the features. And here it just kind of seems like you forgot about navigating the features yeah. and you just focus on the compass 100%, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, then we have another mistake regarding the compass itself. That yes. happens over here. You're going along the mm -hmm. side of the fence and you misinterpret the compass. Yeah. You don't look at the contours as well because you're climbing the top of the hill instead of going into the gully. There's probably no gully over mm -hmm. here. So 
Um, yeah, I, I realized that. I was running and I'm like, there's no, I was looking actually not for my control, but for a gully. And I realized that there's no gully. But I didn't realize that I'm going up. You know, I, I like, I don't know, no, maybe it was that, just that, a that, slight that, bit. Yeah, yeah, it's like very, very. So. Uh, you're, you're basically running more mm -hmm. or less flat. Yeah. Okay, so several mistakes. So first of all, we remember that if something bad happens, you need additional validation mm -hmm. that you are where you are, where you're thinking you are, right? Second of all, navigate along the features, features. Um, yes. and use the compass to validate that again, right? The compass right. is supposed to help, not to be the only source of navigation. And then over here again, working with the compass, I'm not sure what happened over here, why the map was wrong. Seems strange mm -hmm. to me because with your experience, you should be able to set the map um, properly all the time. So maybe, I don't know, you weren't going very fast. So I, I, I don't believe that I can say that uh, you didn't have time to set the map properly. You probably did have time. Uh, therefore, it's just a very simple direction mistake. Yeah. All right. Number two. Number two, the plan was really easy. Uh, just, just go along the screen and then uh, run. From which side? Actually... No, don't check it. But I, I'm asking for the plan. Yeah, so I don't remember what the plan was, but I think that if I would want to go now, I would go from this mm -hmm. side Why? here. Just because it seems faster. Mm -hmm. Like to my eye, I see it. Yeah. But I'm not sure where I went. But I think I went here. Okay. I'm pre pretty sure. But if I, I, if I, I, I were I'm you, not. I would actually go from the other side because then you hit the path. And at this point in time, you know exactly where you are, which is kind of good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then just uh, ran along the compass a little bit. If I went here, a little bit to the right mm -hmm. to not miss this because okay. I, I knew this would be very visible. So I will get it. Mm -hmm. And I just ran along the compass straight till I see this and then maybe a little bit to the right. Too. You got it. All yeah. Right, let's see how you did. So yeah, I went here and I saw this hill. Mm -hmm. So I saw this hill, I went around this hill, and I was sure where I am, and I just, yeah, I just okay. So you hit the crossing anyway? Yes, yeah, uh, to be just sure, but I was And sure. then you were able to mm -hmm. hit the control to run on top, right? Yeah. So that's why I said that going along this uh, side of the, of the grid would actually probably be better for you, right? Mm -hmm. Here you went like this way, then this way, so you made a zigzag, which is totally unnecessary. You probably did additional meters because of that. And you didn't have to because all it took was go here, go here, and this part you can go quite fast, right? Then from over here you can slow down or even stop. Make sure that you set the right direction with the compass and then follow as you did uh, straight to the control. Mm -hmm. Good, nice, nice work with the compass here. I mean, the line was very well done here, right? Mm -hmm. So a, li a little bit, you kept the direction to be a little bit on the right yes. side. And then when you saw the control, you yeah. corrected it. Uh, I saw this control as well. It was quite. It was visible. visible. Yeah. Number three plan. Number three plan. Just go along the gully, 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 Erosion gully, gully. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> Erosion gully, and then just uh, see this patch of green. Mm -hmm. Go to the right. Catch a control. Okay. Pretty. I'm not sure if I would have the same plan. Okay. So I went along the gully. I went. There were so many like um, what was the first over here? Was bushes. bushes. There were so many bushes. Yeah, I know. This this part of the forest yeah. it looks clean. Yes, but it, but wasn't, it, really it wasn't too runnable. No. And here I made another like a little bit zigzag. That's because there was a control there, and I wanted to make sure where it stands, just to be sure where and I am. Where, where was it? Well, it was. Uh, I think it was like on uh, the the end of this. Little patch of. No, it wasn't. So, where was it? It was in a, in a pit, in a depression. In this one? Yep. I had really? It. Yeah, it was. I had a discontrol. Oh, so I didn't realize that it's it looked like a depression. A no, it didn't. <laughs> yes, it did. I, I went and there was no depression. Maybe we were not talking about the same control. Uh, uh, okay. Do we have control descriptions here? No. All right. So, I can't check it. But I'm pretty sure it wasn't a depression. Anyway, continue. Yeah. So um, then I stumble upon a Wait, before, problem. Before you go, so yeah. 
Why did you feel like you need to check where this control is? Because I didn't sure if I'm on the galley. There were so many sure. bushes. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. Uh, there were so many bushes and so many things happening that I was like, like I didn't, I didn't know uh, exactly what's going on. I was like a little bit scared mm. that I'll get, that I'll mess it up because I, I just, you know, I wanted to go along the galley, but the erosion galley, but it was really hard to go along it. And sometimes I even didn't see it. So I needed like a point that would like assure me that I'm here because, you know, I was mm -hmm. just scared. Mm -hmm. I think that's the reason. What do you think about just keeping to the right side, going on the right side all the time and then searching for a bigger depression or knowing that the big road will stop you? But the right and, side and of the erosion gully? Yeah, because it looks like it's white on the right yeah, side. Yeah, but it wasn't. There were so many well, bushes here. It was better than on the left side. Well, yeah, but I was running on the right side. But, uh, but yeah, it, it wasn't perfect. Over here, it was better. Over here, it was yes. much better. Yes, up, over up, here, up, it was up good. this point. Over yeah. here, it was uh, not, not mm -hmm. fantastic. Yes, I, I would agree. And here, in this point of time, mm -hmm. I lost the road in Gali. Mm -hmm. I didn't see it, and I knew that I don't see it. Yeah, it wasn't. I, I was running along the same yes. one. I had a similar control here at mm -hmm. the side of the of this yeah. opening, uh, so it, it was quite wide and not very visible at some point in time. Yeah, so I, don't I it. lost I it, and I, but I just kept the compass. I I was like, okay, I'll just keep the compass mm -hmm. until the control, mm -hmm. and maybe it will be good. And uh, I kept the compass. I was just, just running. Just the compass. Well, yeah, because I didn't. Like, I didn't distinguish between this green or this white. I couldn't distinguish anything. I saw from here, somewhere from here, I saw already this one. So then I knew where I wanted to go. Okay. But iron and that, nothing. Okay. All right. So um, I, I this border, uh, vegetation border, was quite visible. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why you didn't see it. I was running exactly uh, here as well and looking for this change in contours not very visible but still I was able to catch it and turn into my control so I, I saw that I'm running on white all right and there is definitely green on my left side so the border was visible so that's why I asked what else have you been looking at besides the compass again right remember compass is good for navigating but you need to find additional elements that you can check off along the way to make sure that you are actually uh, where you want to be. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you weren't looking for the green, really. You were just following the compass. Yeah, that, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And, I think that and, might and be. And turning over here wasn't necessary. I don't mm -hmm. think that. Because, um, first of all, this is the only bigger depression except this one. Mm -hmm. So this yeah. one is, you know, half the way. So you should feel, okay, it's too early um, uh, at this point in time. And you should keep pushing forward. This one is the only depression that actually exists around mm -hmm. these areas. So there's no mistaking it for anything else. So it's pretty safe, right? You just follow the, the erosion galley. If you lose yeah. it, just follow the compass. And if you, if you see the depression, you go into the depression. If you don't see the depression, then you always keep your head high yes. to look for open area here with the fence, road, right? Anything mm -hmm. that you can see besides the control, which will tell you, okay, I'm probably getting a little bit too far. And that then, then it's an, an alarming side. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, it's a pretty good lag to just keep pushing okay. forward and not waste time on any kind of deviations along the route here. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah. Good. Number four. One. Uh, yeah, so the plan was really easy. Just uh, go to the road, go along this uh, fence to another road, mm -hmm. uh, go along this road to this road, to this uh, path actually, yeah. and go along the path to the control. Good. Were you thinking about crossing here maybe? Mm, yes, yes. I was thinking about it, but I, I looked at it and I'm like, okay, road, two minutes. Crossing? Seven minutes. Let's go on the road. <laughs> there were so many bushes there. Okay. Then I was like, I, I didn't even think about going there when I saw it. I was okay. like, oh, no, 
Thanks. I feel you. I again had a similar lag from here. Mm -hmm. To here, oh, okay. right? So a similar one. Oh, I had, uh, I was going. Yeah, you were going to, yeah. to number yeah, five I straight saw this through control. this. And my plan was very, very same, right? Just go here, hit mm -hmm. this, go to the corner, cross to this path, and then start crossing mm -hmm. to the hill. But I asked about crossing over here because I had the same thought. <laughs> when I came over here and I looked to the right, and I was like, mm, Do I need to go there? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. That doesn't look very, really fast. So yeah, I, I think I I was running here with the guy, and we were we were running quite similarly, and I ran with him all the way until here, I think more or less. And I'm like, okay, I'm crossing. I feel <laughs> strong. And I'm like, ah, I'm trying to cross over here, <laughs> and we met over here as well together. So he went around, I crossed. Yeah, it was exactly the same time, and I probably lost a little bit more strength. Yeah, and and you're running fast for bushes. Yes, I'm, yes. You're so, for so, bushes, like, okay, it's hurting, but I'm. And I'm like, mm -hmm, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, so, okay so, don't so, touch it. <laughs> so the, gr the grass was tall. Yeah. There were some blackberry bushes with thorns. So for you, definitely going around was the right, yeah. right and decision. Yeah, and I'm sometimes in the bushes, I'm so uh, like in, in, insecure. I'm so like scared that I'll get scratched. And I'm, I'm just, I don't like the feeling of scratching myself. It's just very, I don't know. It's, uh, so of we, course. We need to buy you the trousers and we got them. Yeah. Them. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Of course, uh, it hurts you too, okay. but me, okay. it's like... Just... So let's get to the point. Okay, yeah. So, so number four, as far as I remember, without any problems, we mm, can play yes. it. Uh, but, uh, well, I stopped on the road, you'll see, because I was tying my shoe, I think. On the second one? Here? Yeah, I think I was tying my shoe here. Yeah. Yeah, you stopped. Definitely. Yes, I did. And then, then you're fast. Yeah. You're fast. Good. Fast. And then, you and then to this one, it's a here. little bit uphill, so not that yeah. fast anymore. I was running along the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, yes. Probably. So. And, and you, I saw it. You see, you see so, the yeah. Now, number five. Mm, I just guess, compass uh, through the hill and yeah, just there, go. There was nothing yes. else to navigate by. Uh, the only thing that I can say over here is when you're running uh, to this kind of element, mm -hmm. well, it's a white forest, so it should yeah. be visible it was from, very from, visible. from afar. But if it would be hidden behind some greens mm -hmm. or something, you can always take a look at this one, right? Yeah. So, right beside mm -hmm. it, there is the only. Of bigger course. hill in the area so you just keep the direction to the small hill first and then you aim for the second hill yes. and of course looking for the um, animal feeder along the way mm -hmm. now number six looks interesting yeah. Tell me uh, the plan so the plan was just go along the road road mm -hmm. uh, path here and from here uh -huh. uh, go along the compass catch this road uh -huh. go along this road uh, i don't know to the end uh, or somewhere towards the end mm -hmm. and then just set the compass and catch the control okay but it wasn't do you, do you think it was a good retreat uh, this one yes would you would you make the same one right now um well i didn't go like that so i don't know if i would make but, the same plan but now knowing the forest knowing oh. where the control was and so on would you so no do you think no. it was the best plan mm -hmm. and then all the good no. elements to check off or do you would you would you look for something else no, I don't think I would go so, like that. So how would you go? I would go here, and I would just go straight to the lowering, because it was visible, okay. the lowering, okay. and I would just go along it. Exactly. This one was very visible. Exactly. I didn't know that it would be. Exactly. I, I, I thought like, okay, a control inside of a forest. There's no way it will be visible, and it was very visible. Okay, yeah. So exactly what I wanted yeah. to hear. So, you know, finding this path, you know, you know these paths. They might be very yes. visible, they might be not visible at all, right? So it's a gamble. Yeah. It's a gamble. Now, looking for the yellow patches over here? Not gonna no, happen, no, right? no there's not, no way. Not, you will not see that unless you're very lucky or going very slow, yeah. right? So turning from here um, was a decent idea for you. Um, I, I would probably cross like here, maybe mm. follow the wrong and road here and start going like this. Yeah. But for you coming over, over here to this point, that was okay, right? And then the second most important thing on that leg was to realize that here there is the, the big gully, huge gully mm -hmm. going, right? Yes. So you, what you basically want to do is go to the lowest part of this mm -hmm. and just run Followed. run along, yes. along the middle of the lowest part and then keep scanning for the control, <laughs> right? Yeah. Keep scanning for the control because it's not in a, in a depression, it's not yeah. in a pit, right? 
It's at the small swamp, right? So it's, it's, it's not below the eyesight mm -hmm. line. You should be able to see it. It's not in a green forest. So there was a really good chance that yes. this control is going to be visible. Right? You shouldn't be afraid of that. Because there were just two counters of this one, I didn't really think. I was like, okay, I'll probably not see it. No, but, but it was. But you have to remember that these counters, each of them mm -hmm. is how high? Uh, two and a half, I think. No, five meters. Oh, so so I didn't know that that it's five meters here. You should right all all the uh -huh. maps over yeah. there. Each contour was five meters, mm -hmm. right? So so two contours, it's ten meters. That's a long way, yeah. right? Yeah. That's that's a that's a long um well, a, a big difference in in height and definitely visible. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see how you how how you did. Sorry. One sec. You're going. I ran. You're going. You're going. You're at the crossing. Yeah. And you just go straight. Yeah, I just go straight. Slowly I was like down, looking around. Yeah. Searching for a path. Ah, I say control. Yes. Right. So uh, here I went from this one, and when I was standing here, I'm like, yeah. There is no chance I'll catch this one, and it's just not. No chance. Well, of course, but it's just if I will catch it, then I think I prefer go more like this uh -huh. and then catch it to be exactly. sure what I am. So uh, right here, I was just going along my compass to maybe catch it, but I didn't see it. Okay. I crossed it, but I didn't see it. Is it maybe uh, because you saw the control earlier before you no, saw the path? No. Okay. No, I didn't see the path. I saw the control like here, okay. uh, right after the path, I think. So yeah, and then I and then I just ran. Along the compass still, and I start going straight. All right, good. So the dreaded number seven. Mm -hmm. The plan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, plan. Just go to the road. Um, um. Yes. Then go down here. Well, maybe not down, 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 but yeah. like see this, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. This, uh, and then go around it and over instead here. Instead of this, we want to say. Mm, depression. Yeah, it's like a. Big, big depression. depression. Yeah. yeah. So uh, around this depression, and uh, through. I didn't want to go through this green oh, because yeah. yeah, I'm not good at greens. Uh, so just go to this path. Then uh, when I get to the end, set the compass to these paths. Catch this one. Cross. Go. Got yeah. it. So yeah, I'm going, running. A little bit to the right because uh, there were like mm, wood on laying on the ground, like branches and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going around. It's pretty good. Just like planned, then I'm going to the road. And here, uh, the funny thing is, I thought mm -hmm. I'm going here. When I was going here, I thought I'm going here. Uh, maybe maybe not like along this path, but like somewhere here. Mm -hmm. I was definitely uh, too far, so I thought like, okay, I'll be here. Just why why did you think that? Well, because so I didn't you didn't you see any erosion gullies here? No, none of them. <laughs> none of them. It kind of looked like yeah. you were crossing through them. Yeah, but I I didn't see them. Okay. I don't know how that happened. I didn't even register that they are there. Okay. Maybe I wasn't looking because I wasn't looking for them, right? Oh, right. But. No, I didn't see them. So uh, here, then I'll run in a strange direction because uh, I'm running, 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 and yeah. So I think that because I thought that this here mm -hmm. is this, mm -hmm. I thought that right, like uh, just in a moment, this will this will be the end of the path. So I ran to here, and it was the end of the path for me. I thought uh, that I'm the end, and the very stupid it thing. It looked like, like, like yes, yeah, yes. And the very stupid thing is that there was a road here to the left, mm -hmm. and I literally didn't see it. Like I thought I'm here, and I saw this road. I I looked at it, and I'm like, okay, let's run. I'm here, right? I didn't even like register that there shouldn't be a road there. I saw it, but in my mind it was like, okay, there's a road, whatever, right? I didn't even register, so I'm okay. I'm here and I'm running. And there was a road. There was like a road, mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't big. It was all in branches. So I was like, okay, this is pretty. I'm pretty sure that it's just this part because there's green here. So there's probably something like semi road. Uh, yeah, so I was running. 
And uh, of course, I was running here and I thought I'm running here. So I got to this one, but I actually didn't get to this one. I got here. And I turned left. And why did I turn left? I will tell you in a second. Because I turned left and then I wanted to correct. But uh, so when I got here, I actually thought I'm here. So my like distance was wrong at this point already. Mm -hmm. I, I, I thought that I'm too far if uh, I would be even, even if I was starting from here, right? I would be like there and I thought I'm here. And this road that I turned in, it was probably this one. Because, yeah, it, it was probably this one. Probably, yeah. Uh, it had like something similar to this. It had like um, a, a turn that was really similar to me. Mm -hmm. And I thought that I'm here because like, okay, there's this turn. And right after this turn, there should be my control. So I'm like running and I'm like, control, control. Like it, it's a little hill. So I was like, hill? Huh? Hello? <laughs> and it wasn't there. So I was like, what the heck is going on? Like I'm on my road and there's no control. So I'm like, cool. And uh, I, I then from here, um, I saw, I think, uh, maybe, maybe I didn't see it right away, but um, so yeah, I stand for a bit. I wanted to like figure out where I am. I was looking for the control. And then I started to run a little bit um, uh, more, maybe because I thought like, maybe, okay, maybe it's a little bit just um, better, right? Maybe I'm a little bit um, bad. But uh, from here, I saw this road. Like there, there was like, this road was like a little bit longer mm -hmm. than it's here because when I get here, it, the, the road was here. So it was like, yeah. And I, and I was like, okay, I'll just get there. I'll set the compass, I'll figure out where I am, and I ran my control. Okay, so you saw the road and you figured that this is this one on the map? No. No. <laughs> no, daddy. So I got to the road over here, and I stood, and I was like, okay, okay I'm here. You're on the road now? Uh, yeah. You, there was a road here, there? Okay. Yeah. And, and so I stood, and I'm like, okay, okay, I'm on this one. <laughs> it checks out. Let's go, right? And I was like, okay, no, here I'm on the road, here. I was like, okay, let's go. I ran to there, uh, yeah, here, here, here. I ran to this point, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I was here. The, and I, then I thought like, this is the point, I'm here, right? I got to there and I'm like, I'm here. What is going on? Why am I here? I should be there, right? And I was like, I, I didn't know what's happening. Like in my head, I don't know. I just didn't know where I am. And I was with, uh, I don't know if I can call her my friend, but like somebody, another girl. yeah, another girl. And there were two boys that were looking for the same control. So, uh, um, so the group was growing. Yes, and nobody <laughs> could find it, right? So I'm running, I'm turning um, not to here because why would I turn here again, right? right. Uh, so I ran a little bit more towards. Um, this direction to, to the forest and I think here I didn't like it because it was because the girl was running here and I was like I don't know where I am I don't want to lose her right so uh I'm always like that when I get lost and I don't know where I am I don't want to lose somebody that I'm with mm -hmm. because I know that then I'll be like maybe she has an idea maybe she knows where she's going right so I was running um just like she is and we ran into this road and the best thing is that this road looked just like the big one. It was so big that I thought I'm on the big road. Mm -hmm. It was very big. And the best thing is that there was like a semi road here too. So yeah, there, there was a semi road here. And I thought it's this one. And I'm like, okay, we're here. So let's go here. And I started running here. So I thought that I'm here because it was so big, right? And I'm like, okay, I know where I am. I can go to my control. And I was so, so hyped. And I, I went here and I, I started running. You'll see, yeah, I started running. And then I stood here and I started control on a hill. And I, this guy punched it. So then I turned around and just went after them to the control. Nice. Oh, right. What a big mistake, huh? 
Yeah. So it was like, uh, so from over here, I guess all the way here, you should get the control at this point in time. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's yes. 29, 25, but instead you're making that loop and then you're finding the control over here, which uh, is six minutes. five and a half minutes later. Yeah. Five and a half minutes later. Right. So big mistake. Um, so comments. First of all, the plan was decent. Mm -hmm. The plan was decent, right? You know, to go over here. Um, but, well, to explain to everyone still watching at this point, <laughs> this area wasn't great yeah, on the map. It was. There were additional paths over there. I'm sure of it because I was going from somewhere. Uh, I think I had a control over here. <clears throat> and then I was going to the control over here. Oh my God. So I was crossing this one. And when I was in, on this path, I actually saw Hannah over there. Yeah. So we, we, crossed, we, we crossed paths. Uh, and she was going straight. And I'm like, okay, I want to cross to this one. Right? I want to cross to this one. Because I suspect that I'm only on this one at this point in time. So I started crossing. And I found another path. But it didn't take me to this crossing. And this is the path that Hannah used later. Yeah. It, was, it was going here. There was definitely a path. Very visible one. Yes, it was very I, I visible. I thought it might be this one, definitely. So, uh, so that there were additional paths. That's why I can't believe that somewhere over here, maybe there were some additional turns mm -hmm. of these paths yeah. and so on. So something wasn't right over here, definitely. And the best thing is mm -hmm. that when I was running along this one, it actually went, like, it went, uh, it, it didn't end here. Mm -hmm. When I was running here, I was still running along it. Yeah, okay. So okay. it was really bad All right. in this terrain. So the, the first thing that comes to my mind is that at this point in time, Again, you're looking just at one thing. I never heard that you were looking for the green. I never heard that you were, you were looking for the contours. Mm -hmm. Look yeah. at the contours, right? The big depression is spanning all the way to here, right? I know. So that there should be a visible, again, depression gully that you're passing at this point in time, which tells you, okay, I'm right here. That's a very important thing. I know, Daddy. Because when I thought I'm running here, mm -hmm. and I was actually here, I saw this one. And I thought that it's this. I knew that I had to go in a depression, okay. in a galley, actually. This was my eye. Right. So I knew, and I thought I'm going for it. Okay. I just didn't but, realize you know, it's not it. This, this yeah. is just um, an erosion galley. It's narrow. And this is, yeah, a, I know. A, this is a very wide galley. Right? Mm -hmm. So you also have to visually distinguish between one and another. Yes. And if, if this was this wide, and you thought that it's, it's this one, that's not great as well. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, so that's the first thing you should have. You should have realized. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here because mm -hmm. this, at this point, it, it, it's verifiable, checkable, yeah. right? So then, uh, your idea is okay. Now I'm looking at the compass. I want to have the green on my left hand side, right? And I want to yes. pass one, and then jump into the second path, right? Yeah. So then you're going. You ignore that this path ends mm -hmm. uh, wherever it ends, and you hit the, the first one, and you jump to the second one. What you did. Is you hit the first one and you turn into it, yeah. right? So that's that's mistake number two mm. on, on this one. Uh, of course, you could have also searched for this opening, yeah. right? We didn't know that the map was wrong at, at that point yeah, in time, so it was totally valid to search for um, a semi semi open area over here. That was also an interesting um, thing to do, but instead, unfortunately, you turned to the first path to the to the left. Therefore, it took you to the area where you. Had no chance of finding the control. Yeah. And then, as you said, right, you were hoping that mm. maybe it's a little bit further, so you went there. And and here, when you were here, you should again realize that you are at the edge of this big depression. Mm -hmm. This was very open, very visible. I was crossing it from here to here, so I know I looked around this area as well, very visible, right? So you should have realized, oh, I'm at the edge of this, this big depression. Mm -hmm. So that's bad. Right, so then you went over here, and and when you were over here, you still didn't realize exactly where you are. Yeah. Right, so second second yeah. time at the same spot, second time the same mistake. Right, yeah. and then just following the people to the path that doesn't exist. But then here you're following the path, hitting this one, getting a little bit lucky, finding the control eventually. Right, yeah. so some of the mistakes definitely happen, um, and again this mistake is very similar to the one to the first control. So mm -hmm. look, look for more elements yeah. than you know just the one that you have in your head. And we are repeating it very often. So 
uh, along the whole course on this map, I know that the con that this map doesn't have a lot of contours, right? Yes. But it's... it still has some, mm -hmm. right? And because of the contours are one line is every five meters, uh, they were still usable, right? Yeah. And it seems like they didn't use the contours enough, although you didn't use them here. So I so, have a so question. Yeah. If if the map is like uh, that, one contour is five meters, uh -huh. not twenty five, like mm -hmm. it's in our train. Mm -hmm. Then th Two and does and a half. yeah yeah I said it. Then does that mean that the pits are uh, deeper too? No. Okay. No. So so the the depth of the pits mm -hmm. basically depends on well th there are rules mm -hmm. that say the minimum depth of the pit and I think it's one meter. That's like like that something yeah. like that, yeah. and then. Ah. Um, in some areas, because there are so many pits on the map, the map maker may, may decide that um, he will only mark the ones that are two meters deep, for example, because one meter deep <laughs> like, pits are like, like these here. <laughs> what is this? Like, for example, right? So, so then if you have like smaller pits, like one meter deep, you can mark them with this uh, rough terrain mm -hmm. uh, where you just yeah, put brown dots, right? Okay, okay, so. Again, coming back to the conclusion from, from this slide, a little bit more validation, right? Mm. A little bit more looking for uh, second, third elements, not just direction and path, mm -hmm. right? Yes. If you would be looking at the contours, it would definitely save you probably a lot of troubles over here. All right, and number eight, I'm guessing that it's very simple. <laughs> yes, just get to the road, road all big crossing, way. follow the road all the way to the last control and then sprint to finish. I was so tired here. I thought I'll die. Everybody, like the the the, the two boys and the, the girl I was running, everybody was like charged and I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> and I didn't go after them, they, they were first. Okay, well, you managed to get to the finish. Yeah. Eventually. So what did we learn from the race? That I have to like look uh, for not just one element but two, and that definitely like the compass is just to help me there, mm -hmm. and that I have to like actually um, run along some features, and the compass is just to assure me that I'm I'm doing. Yes. That's... And one more thing that I want to again repeat: if you feel like over here at number one mm -hmm. that something is off, remember to look oh, yeah. for additional yes. elements, even more than normally you would. That can convince you that you're here. That, yes. that, that will assure you that this is uh, this, the, your way of thinking mm -hmm. is correct, or maybe it's wrong. And then you know, light bulb, red flag, stop, <laughs> yeah. figure out what's going on. Um, and and of course, there is a process mm -hmm. to it. Thank you so much <laughs> for the another analysis. Again, it was a pleasure. Uh, you can say a few words to everyone. What can I say? I it was know. fun. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it was fun. It's, I, it's I like to be from, here. From my side. I, I like to be here because I just, I don't know. I just I really I like being here. Yeah, oh yeah. I like being here from I from as I remember when I was little, I always liked to be in front of the camera and like <laughs> yeah. I always like to Don't I have a small star at home? Yeah, when I'm alone, uh, I like when I'm like alone and I feel alone and nobody's there. I like to talk to myself, to my viewers. I have like all of my viewers and I'm doing lives and I'm talking. I think it's a good moment to stop the recording. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you everyone for watching. Consider subscribing if you're not subscribed yet. And I'll be seeing you in one of the next videos. And Hannah will be seeing you sometime in the future as well. I hope. Bye everyone. Bye.